Today I'm gonna show you how to do the motion extraction in Brenders based on the first video. First of all, you need to enable the composite node by go to the viewport shading mode and select the always on the compositors. You change from timeline to compositors, then check the box called use notes. Then you delete the render layers because we don't need that. We use only the video. Press it, then delete it. Then you add the image node because if you use the movie clip, you can't control the start frame, which is really important for this method. Then you select your video. Then you set the frame according to the length of your video. Now you need to connect your video to the composite node. Now you can see the video is playing in our viewport. And use the scale node to make it fit to our view. Now you can see the whole video playing. Then you invert the color of it. You need to do the scale thing to the bottom video as well. Then you need to mix this together make this two footage. As you can see there's nothing going because you don't set the frame of the bottom yet. So make sure you set the frame for both of them. Then in the fact you need to set it to 0 0.5. You can see like there nothing happened until you set the start frame. Now you can see the difference. You start to seeing the movement. So the move part will turn to be brighter than the other part that not moving. We will take advantage of this by delete the background of it. By replace the background with the black color with a color lamp node. I'm gonna show you. Add the color lamp node. Then you can adjust like these two handles, the black and white. Adjust it until you think they just fit to your project. Now we're gonna set the lender output. I will set the lender sampling to just one because we don't want we don't need to render anything, we just want the composite node to work. And then I'm gonna export this into the MP4 video, which is like the easiest one, I think. Follow my system and select your output where you want to save this video. So, the next interesting thing is you can do the remove background but keep the colors. As you can see, this is like just black and white because our color lamp node have only two black and white colors so the thing that you need to do if you want to add the colors to this foot test is you use the mid color nodes but you do multiply instead then you connect it now you can see our foot test had a color right now and you can just render like normal or usually Or you can use the viewport render animation, which is I think is a little bit faster. After you've done that, you can have something like this. This is like the project that I experiment with the textures. All the texture, all the moving texture you see is use the motion extraction method to do this and the node testing the shader setup is really easy just like this when you add the image as plane you will have this node the way to remove the background is easy just connect the color node to the alpha channel then use the color lamp to adjust the opacity of the overall and if you want to see this more clearly, you can connect the color to the emission and set the emission strength. But don't 
set is too much or everything will look growly so yeah that's it that is the motion extraction in blender i hope you like it if you found this informative or like useful for you please subscribe and like me so i can do more video frequently and don't forget to watch the motion extraction by posi is it really great